Hello and welcome to Monroe County's presentation on the Middle Road Highway Improvements Project. The purpose of this presentation is to provide information about the project and solicit feedback from the general public. Information about how you can provide feedback will be provided at the end of this presentation. Monroe County owns and maintains Middle Road. Bergman has been hired as the engineering consultant to perform design services for this project. Subconsultants Lou Engineers, GDB Geospatial, and Terracon are assisting in the design effort. The segment of Middle Road being improved is located between Erie Station Road and Lehigh Station Road in the town of Henrietta. The project length is 1.3 miles. Middle Road crosses over the New York State Thruway within the project limits. As part of Monroe County's ongoing capital improvement plan, a rehabilitation project is being progressed to address existing deficiencies and improve the roadway for all users. The project objectives are as follows. One, perform corrective maintenance on the roadway pavement extending its service life and restoring a smooth riding surface. Two, evaluate existing cross culverts for structural defects or inadequate hydraulic capacity and repair or replace them as necessary. Three, provide improved pedestrian and bicycle accommodations along the shoulders. Four, Identify and correct any drainage ditch or roadside safety deficiencies. And five, bring wheelchair ramps within the project limits into compliance with current ADA standards where feasible. Personnel from the design team performed site visits and reviewed available record plans and maintenance records to identify and document existing deficiencies. Our findings are as follows. The existing middle road pavement surface is in fair to poor condition. Forms of visible deterioration include oxidation and surface cracking. There are several locations where the top course of pavement has peeled away. There is a notable drop off at the pavement edge in several locations because of multiple overlays throughout the years. This condition can catch a vehicle's tire and make it difficult to return to the roadway. Pavement cores collected along the length of the road show the asphalt thickness in the travel lanes varies from five and a half inches to nine inches. Thicknesses of less than seven inches are considered too thin for the level of traffic carried on middle road, which will lead to more damage if not corrected. The existing shoulders on Middle Road are only two to three feet wide. This is less than Monroe County's standard minimum width of four feet and preferred width of six feet, which is needed to adequately accommodate pedestrians and bicyclists. Pavement cores collected in the shoulders show the asphalt thickness varies from three inches to four and three quarter inches. Record plans indicate that Middle Road was originally constructed with nine foot lanes and no paved shoulders. So it is not surprising that the existing shoulders are thinner than the rest of the pavement. Many utility poles are located close to the existing shoulders edge. This is not desirable from a roadside safety perspective. The guide rail on the approaches to the bridge over the thruway are in fair to poor condition. Some segments are detached from their posts, while other segments are highly corroded. Two of the four end assemblies do not meet current standards. There are two wheelchair ramps at the intersection of Middle Road and Lehigh Station Road. The ramps are in poor condition and do not meet current Americans with Disabilities Act requirements. The following improvements are proposed to address the identified deficiencies and meet the project objectives. 
To address the shoulder width and pavement thickness deficiencies, the existing two foot to three foot wide shoulders will be rebuilt with six foot wide paved shoulders. The actual width of excavation will extend into the travel lanes to account for the narrow construction of the original roadway. After the shoulders are widened, the top two inches of old pavement will be milled off the travel lanes and three and a half inches of new pavement will be placed. The overall thickness of the pavement will be increased by one and a half inches to improve durability. The widening of the paved shoulder will push embankment fill slopes and ditches further away from the road. New ditches will be established in the same areas that currently have ditches, just moved further away from the road. Areas that currently do not have ditches will continue not to have ditches. Ditches will be reshaped for better drainage and roadside safety. In some cases, for example, along certain residential properties, these features will be shallow swales. All ditches and swales will have adequate capacity to carry the anticipated stormwater runoff. Curbing will be extended at the northern end of the project along the west side of the road to control runoff where a ditch would substantially impact adjacent properties. Next, we will take you through the project limits from south to north to show you the proposed improvements and how they impact properties along the road. At the southern end of the project, roadside ditches are located on both sides of Middle Road. The widening of the shoulders will push the ditches outward Existing driveway pipes and driveway aprons will be replaced to provide a smooth transition to the existing driveway. Moving north, reconstructed ditches will continue to a large culvert located about 500 feet south of the thruway. Proposed widening will continue to push the ditches back. Existing driveway aprons for the RGE gas facility and farm access will be replaced. The guide rail on the approaches to the thruway bridge will be replaced. The bridge rail and the bridge itself are owned and maintained by the thruway authority and will not be rehabilitated or replaced by Monroe County. New guide rail will be installed at the large culvert to help prevent errant vehicles from entering the stream. Crossing the thruway bridge, we begin to see residential properties on the east side of Middle Road. Roadside ditches are located on the west side only. Shoulders will still be widened in this area, but the limit of work will remain within the county's existing right-of-way. Driveway connections will be installed to be no steeper than existing. One temporary easement is needed at 600 Middle Road for driveway work to be extended out of the right-of-way. The widening of shoulders, associated earthwork, and utility relocations will require the removal of some trees along Middle Road. Anticipated individual tree removals are indicated on these slides with an X. Tree clearing areas are shaded blue. The repaving, shoulder widening, and ditch regrading continues as we move north. At the residential area on the west side, the ditch will transition to a shallow swale to reduce grading impacts. Small temporary easements are needed from the Town of Henrietta and Rush Henrietta School District properties for the purposes of roadside grading. Near the northern project limits, an existing 12-inch diameter cross culvert in poor condition will be replaced with a new 18-inch diameter pipe. A permanent easement will be required at the outlet end for proper grading on the Rush Henrietta School District property. Curbing on the west side of the road will be extended south by approximately 700 feet to control runoff without substantially affecting adjacent properties. The wheelchair ramps at Lehigh Station Road will be replaced and brought up to current standards. 
Traffic will be maintained on Middle Road throughout construction. The road will not be closed and detours are not expected. The contractor will be required to maintain access to properties along Middle Road at all times and to provide advance notification to property owners when construction operations may impact them. The existing roadway carries two-way traffic on 11-foot lanes with two to three-foot shoulders. Prior to the construction of roadway improvements, some utility poles will be relocated further from the roadway. Affected utilities may contact individual owners regarding the pole work or tree trimming. The first stage of construction will reconstruct and widen the shoulders on one side of the road. This slide depicts the east side shoulder being reconstructed first for illustrative purposes. Traffic will be maintained by shifting the travel lanes toward the opposite side using the existing shoulder. The contractor will be required to provide travel lanes no narrower than 10 feet in each direction. The new shoulders will be constructed through the asphalt base course, providing a riding surface for the next stage of construction. Once the shoulders on one side have been reconstructed, traffic will be shifted toward the other side so that the opposite shoulders can be reconstructed. Again, the contractor will be required to provide travel lanes no narrower than 10 feet in each direction. With the shoulder reconstruction and widening complete, the contractor will mill the surface of the travel lanes and place two new asphalt pavement courses. Each of these steps will be accomplished using flaggers to direct alternating one-way traffic around the work zone. This alternating one-way traffic setup will move along the road with the milling and paving operations. At the end of each workday, the road will be returned to normal two-way operation. Schedule and cost. The project is currently in the detailed design phase. Detailed design and the few easement acquisitions needed will continue through the late summer of 2022. Once design is complete, the project will be put out to bid and a contractor will be selected. Utility relocations associated with the project are expected to be completed over the winter and early spring. Construction is expected to begin in April 2023 and continue through the summer with expected completion in the fall of 2023. The estimated construction cost for the project is $3.45 million. The project is 100% funded by Monroe County. This concludes our presentation. Additional project information and updates may be found on Monroe County's construction website at www.monroecounty.gov slash DOT dash construction. If you would like to submit a question or comment about the project to Monroe County, you may return the comment sheet that was mailed to you, or you may contact Monroe County Project Manager Henry Herzig at phone number 585-753-7729 or email hherdzik at monroecounty.gov. Comments on this proposed design would be appreciated by June 10th, 2022. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about the Monroe County Department of Transportation's Middle Road Improvement Project.